in a fight against Ciprolek, it is Takaru's best interest to check the kick early in order to dictate his punching game. Takaru also does a very good job with his lead leg using the inside low kick to disrupt his opponent's rhythm and get them paying attention downstairs. This would allow him to set up his hands later in the game. Since it's inside, it's quicker and less telegraphed than your regular outside low kick. Even though Peshtem is checking or trying to check them a bit more now, Takaru is just going to put it out there just to try to get a reaction or in the read that uh, patch them. Again, Takaru is just touching that leg, getting out of range and just putting that inside low kick in there. Now he can set up the hands now that he got patched them to get a reaction with those inside low kicks. Then back to those. Notice that since Takaru has been establishing so much inside low kick against Peshtem, watch his legs. He's constantly retreating the lead leg first to avoid the kicks, but that would make him very vulnerable to punches later down the line. Takaru also uses those inside low kicks well to hurt his opponents to the edge of the ropes. This is where Takaru does his best work. Get him to the corner and unload barrages of hands. He gets out just in time, then reestablish that pressure again back to those inside low kicks just to hurt patch them where he wants them. His kick defense is on point as well for Takaru. Catching high kicks with his hands, ready to counter back. Now that patch them is really sold on the inside low kick, Takaru can jab overhand right around the guard. He can hurt him with the inside low kick to the corner, get out where he needs to, get right back in and unleash his hands on patch them. Note that Takaru kick defense here for catching and shooting is very well done. When the kicks come his way, he can catch it, close the distance and unleash a barrage of hands. And there's the first knockdown at the end of round 1. Once Pechdem finds some space, Takaru can always go back to that inside low kick to herd Pechdem back in the straight line. Since once he gets to the edge of the corner, Takaru can throw hands and finish him off. Pechdem decides to stand and bang with Takaru there, which is a terrible idea since Takaru been doing a lot more damage with his hands and here he finished off Pechdem. Against Daniel Perdas, Takaru uses more of a teep since uh, Daniel will try and box more versus Pechdem who is more of a kicker. Again, he used that lead leg, try to push Daniel and get a reaction out of the back, or as a fake eventually to set up his right hand. Mixes up with the inside low, establish that inside low kick so eventually he can set up his right hand later like that. Again, once Takaru set up that lead leg, to establish that rhythm and push back his opponent into the corner, he can unleash his hands, finish him off with this right overhand right body work, left body work, and then eventually he's going to knock out Daniel there if he just stays in that corner. Daniel needs a stinger jab or something to push Takaru back and angle off, otherwise he's going to get TKO'd here. Same thing again when he gets sucked in right in the corner, put that right overhand counter right over the top. Again, sucked in, get pushed into the corner, right overhand, couple left kicks to establish the rhythm and push them back. Sug didn't try to angle off, but he didn't put anything in Takaru's face of any substance. So Takaru can continue cutting off the ring from there and landing some more right overhands. My main criticism for when Takaru does walk someone down is he goes in a straight line, leading him exposed to either a counter right or a hard jab down the pipe. And if someone plays their shot right, they could angle off on him as he approaches the straight line. A hurt opponent is a dangerous opponent, so you best feint out their counter shot, then go in and finish up the job. Tension was the best example of countering this forward aggression, if you watched my previous video on Tension Nasukawa.